I'm back with another natural hair product review. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel where we focus on growing healthy natural hair. You probably already have noticed that I have white paint on my face and it is because I just finished recording the um, costume video that I played last week or a couple weeks ago and I am about to get in the shower to wash this stuff off, wash the product out of my hair that I used, but I'm using a new product, um, new shampoo, conditioner, um, deep conditioner, new leave-in, and new curl cream today by Rawa, so I wanted to get this on camera before I got in the shower because I have never bought anything from them. So I just wanted to do a little unboxing before I do my review. So, here it is. Very cute rainforest from Beauty, Oxygen is Life. Really cute little sayings and words on here. The best of the Amazon rainforest at your door. Comes wrapped up. It's very cute. Oh, this is so nice. So, this actually is not a bundle or anything, so I'm really surprised that it came this way. But I got a little bag of something. We'll open it in just a second. But I bought their hydration shampoo, the hydration conditioner. I have a trial size of the Omega-9 hair mask. I bought the Hydration Detangler plus UV Barrier. This would have been really good in Texas, but um, I'm just now trying it, so we'll see how I like it here. This is what they recommended I use as a leave-in conditioner, and they said it should help to detangle my hair. It's very small because it is also a trial size. These are regular size. And then I also got the regular size curl cream, which I'll open here because they did not have the, they didn't have the trial size of this. And I have my door closed because these are pretty expensive and my boyfriend loves to use all of my expensive products. So hopefully you can't hear this. But this is their curl cream. It is the Control Cream Anti-Frizz Curl Styler. So I'm going to try this also. And then let's see what was in the bag. It's very cute. All of this was around $120 and they don't charge for shipping over a certain amount. So I didn't have to pay shipping. And it took a little less, maybe a little less than a week, maybe six days. Oh, nice, I wanted to try this. So they gave me their Amazon oil. Can't wait to try that. Their Freestyle Texturizer. I wanted to try this as well. And their Body Oil. So I'm really excited to try all of these. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the shower wash my hair, do the deep conditioning treatment, and then style my hair with their products. So I'll be back on in just a second. First up is the hydration shampoo. And if you cannot tell by me pouring it in my hand, it definitely has a very silky feel. It is light, but I definitely feel like my hair is going to be a little bit more on the hydrated side when I'm using this shampoo. Now it is still a shampoo, so it's not going to feel like I just put conditioner in my hair, but it definitely feels good going in. And you can see here, there's a little bit of lather, but not too much. So um, it definitely gives you a clean feel, but you aren't going to have that lathering as you are smoothing it into your hair and scalp. Now the smell is really good. On the front of the bottle, it says that it is a plant-derived 
hydration complex with passion fruit and mango and you can definitely smell the fruit in this product it smells great and it's also safe for color treated hair which is a huge plus as well I don't have color in my hair but I know a lot of people are looking for shampoos that are good for colored hair um, now this product is made with organic natural and pure plant derived ingredients it is free of parabens it's sulfate free gluten-free, vegan, and cruelty-free. And it passes the Think Dirty test with a score of three, which means it's non-toxic. Now here you just saw how clean my scalp looks. It feels really good. My hair feels clean and also not dry, which is great as we are going into fall and winter. So I definitely have to give this product a thumbs up. Next we have the hydration conditioner. This one is also a little light for a conditioner. It has that same silky smooth feel and you can see that it definitely has a creamy look and feel to it as well. Now as I'm putting it into my hair, initially when I first put it in, I wasn't completely impressed with it, but then it sat for a couple seconds and I start to do the other sections of my hair and I um, just found out that I needed to use a little bit more than I initially put on my palm per section and it felt really good in my hair. It felt really hydrating. My hair felt extremely soft and smooth and I'm showing you here um, how much tangle I have in my hair right now. So I'm going to show you after this sits in my hair for a few minutes to see if it can get these tangles out as well. But right now I am really loving how this product feels and just like the shampoo this one is made with organic natural pure plant derived ingredients it is free of parabens sulfates gluten it is vegan and it is cruelty free the instructions say after shampooing leave in for three minutes I'm going to leave it in for a little bit longer than that and rinse and I'm going to rinse with cool water. Um, it has really good ingredients in it for your hair. It has passion fruit, mango, green tea. So things that are really good for the health of your hair, which I am loving. And it also only ranks three on Think Dirty, which is good. And you can already see here that the tangles are starting to come out. So I can't wait to clip my hair up and sit with this in my hair for five minutes and then come back on and show you what that looks like. All right, here we are. So I'm taking it out of the clips now and I am already pretty impressed with the conditioner. It feels so soft and hydrated. My hair looks like it's hydrated. It just feels really, really good. So I am going to also show you all how it looks as I try to comb through my hair because it is so easy to get through and you can see I'm just gliding my fingers through. I did reach a couple tangles at the very ends of my hair but it felt really really good and it tangled my hair so well. I actually found out about this product by watching a video on Sunkiss Alba's um, YouTube channel and I just had to try it after she talked about how great it was and she is right I love it as well and this is how much hair actually came out so I didn't even lose a lot of hair during this process so I'm very pleased with this product and now I'm just rinsing it out and then I will show you what it looks like after it's rinsed out it still looks really hydrated my hair looks really soft and it feels just like it looks now we have the Omega-9 hair mask, which is also 100% plant derived. And I just had to try this product because from the name, it just sounds like it is very good for the hair. The consistency of it is very thin, which I was very worried about when I started to apply it to my hair. And you can see there, you don't even see any creaminess. And then I wasn't really in love with the smell. But I'm applying it to my hair and it feels like I am applying really nothing but water to it. So I had to go back in and get a lot more than you saw on my hand before and try to put more in my hair to make it feel better. After I did that, it felt a little bit better, but I still wasn't in love or sold on the product after I applied it. But I still wanted to give it a chance, so as the directions say, it says to leave in for 10 to 15 minutes 
So I'm going to do that. I'm going to um, pin my hair up after I'm done applying it to my hair. I'm going to sit under my heated microwavable cap for about 20 minutes actually, and then I'm going to rinse it out. I was actually surprised by the ingredients. It has shea butter in it. It has sunflower, canola oil. It has some really good ingredients in it, and I thought the shea butter would make it a little thicker than it was. Um, but the good thing about this product is that it only ranks a two on Think Dirty, so even better than the shampoo and conditioner. But we do have to see how this actually performs before we can actually say we will buy it again. And you can see here, my hair is starting to look more hydrated, but it still does not feel like I have a hair mask in my hair. So we'll just have to see. I'm about to put my plastic cap on and my heated cap on, and we will see what happens in just a second. Okay, so I completely rinsed the hair mask out of my hair, and it just doesn't feel like I used a hair mask at all. My hair doesn't feel really moisturized. It kind of feels dry, and there's a little frizz. So I am definitely going to have to give this product a thumbs down, and I will not be buying this again. It just didn't work well with my hair. All right, so now it's time to style the hair. I am going to get started with the hydration detangler and UV barrier, which is going to be my leave-in. And you can see that this one is also very thin and light, but it does feel like it is a little creamier. So it does have potential to be hydrating as well. So I'm going to show you how many sprays I'm going to use per section. And I actually ended up using quite a bit per section because after I finished my hair, I only had about a fourth of the bottle left. So I used almost all of this tiny little um, travel bottle in one styling session. So it was totally worth it though because you can see already how much more hydrated my hair looks, how shiny it looks, and just look at this section compared to the back section and you can see the difference in my hair already. This product also scores a three on Think Dirty, which is good. It has really good ingredients in it. It has green tea, which I love, mango, you know I love that passion fruit extract, it has aloe, and it has a lot of other good oils and ingredients that promote healthy hair and hair growth. Now I did already get all of the tangles out of my hair, but I do think that this product would have helped me to detangle my hair even easier because of how hydrating it is and just how much slip it has. So I really do think that this product can work and I am loving how much definition is already popping into my hair with just the leave-in conditioner. So I am going to give this product a thumbs up and I forgot to mention that I do love the smell of this also. It also has a fruity smell. So it is something that I will keep on my shelves going forward. So I do follow the lock method. So next is the Amazon oil. So this one, it wasn't on Think Dirty, but it's an oil and I'm sure it only has oil in it. And it is pure plant derived and vegan, which is really good. This oil is on the thicker side. It has a great smell and you can see how shiny it is making my hair right now. So it gets a huge thumbs up from me. Last we have the Control Cream Anti-Frizz Curl Styler. This one is thicker, it has more of a creamier feel, and I love that you can lock the top. So it actually confused me at first and I thought that I was just really weak and couldn't get it out but it actually locks when you spin the top. So I am adding this to my hair with the praying hands method and you can see how the curl is just popping in as I apply it. So it's definitely making my hair look even more hydrated, more shiny, and definitely soft. Just as you can imagine from the name, it is meant to style, hydrate, and prevent frizz. It has really good ingredients in it such as aloe, green tea, vitamin E oil, shea butter, and canola oil. So a lot of ingredients in it that are really good for healthy hair and for hair growth. And it scored a two on Think Dirty, which is really good. 
Although the name says that it is anti-frizz, I did start to notice that there were a lot of frizzy pieces at the crown of my head and then even throughout my hair. So I started to apply a little bit more of the product. I still didn't apply too much. It didn't take much for me to start getting that squishy sound as I scrunched my hair. But I did want to see if I could apply a little bit more to take care of the frizz. So I'll just have to see what that looks like after it dries. And I almost forgot to mention the smell because it doesn't really have a strong smell. It isn't fruity like the shampoo and conditioner. It just doesn't really smell like much. I really wasn't too much of a fan of the smell. I really wish that the styling products were as fruity as the shampoo and conditioner because it would just make my hair smell so good. But luckily I do get to still smell the conditioner a little bit even after I have rinsed it out, but it would have been nice to have a much stronger fruity smell in my opinion. But now I have finished the entire left side of my head and you can see that I definitely have some definition popping in. My hair looks moisturized and shiny. And here's a comparison for the side that has not been done yet. And you can definitely see a difference. The other side is much frizzier, it looks drier, and it just doesn't look as curled as the side that I already styled. So here I am with my hair completely done. I did the other side off camera, and you can see that my hair still looks really moisturized. It has curl popping in even more and I'm starting to get a little bit more volume. So it did take my hair about two-ish hours for it to dry, and I think that's because these products are a little bit more on the thinner side, so two hours was really good. And here I am now with my hair completely dry, and you can see that I got pretty good volume. My hair feels extremely soft, and um, I do have a little bit of frizz though, so I will have to say, that the curl cream didn't really help with frizz, but I do like it because it makes my hair feel really good. So I'm just going to try to pair it with some other products to see if that helps. But I definitely do think it's a keeper. Thanks so much for watching my video. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the upcoming videos that I release. Today you did get to see me try out these products and I used the control cream as my curl cream this time, but Rawa did give me a freestyle texturizer which helps with texture, body, and hold. So I am going to review this as well once I open it. So probably next week because I just can't wait to try it and see what this product can do. So you do want to make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on this product next week. Um, also, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would love to hear if you have tried these products before or what you thought about the review in general in the comments. And as always, I will see you next time.